Right, I want to make a quick video on how I was able to connect my Holiday Coro Alpha Pix 32 Pigtail uh, device to my Hog uh, Roadhog 4. And so uh, I decided I wanted to get the system because I could specifically buy it with the Artnet uh, upgrade. And so uh, I've already tested the LEDs out here. And so uh, what I need to do is I need to go in and set the system. And so I need to know and I'm not going to do DCHP because I don't want to auto find a uh, network. And I need to come over here, click setup, network, processor right there. You got to click that one, settings. Okay. Then you come here to uh, output, no, not output, fixture net. And you can see my IP address for my fixture net is 10.0.01 with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. So I can come over here and you see you can see I've already made that the uh, the case. And so you can go through, adjust to what you need to be. I just decided to do two. I have other nodes on the network, but I know I use higher numbers. So I just did two just to make sure I didn't use the same address. And then you go... Subnet mask, 255, I turned off the other 255, so now it should um, talk to it. And Pixel Protocol, I left on the default one. And RGB, that's the same. And then this starts comes with uh, SACN, but I changed it to RNet because that's what I use. And I'm going to reset that now. Converting. And one of the big things that really confused me as well is right here it says... Output 17. So this is not output 17. So if you go here, and uh, I already know which universe I'm going to use because I've already patched. Uh, if I click here, go to output setup one. This is actually one since 17 is the first number that starts. Then 18 is two. I need to be on universe four. And I was having issues because I was getting I was getting weird colors across the whole thing. Like this makes no sense. Turns out that universe uh, one I think is actually zero. It starts off with like a null as the first one, so it's whatever universe you want plus one. And so I know that is uh, that's confusing, but that's just the way it is. So let's go. Let's do it. So let's. I know that's confusing. Set up, change to five, one. I just change it to 100 pixels since I'm only using two strands per tree because I'm we're setting up for a play. So I have um, 20 trees to set up with this and I don't have enough universes for 20 universes of light. So I'm gonna be sharing some universes and then let's click through. I didn't mess with any of that stuff. Perfect, enter. Okay, then I can get off of here because I know what, what it is and I've already gone through and I've patched some basic things. Here's my patch. And so in universe four, I have, uh, it starts at one and I have it going for uh, to 300. So it's hundred pixels per universe. And I've already named them all. Uh, fixture view. I've already named them all. So uh, it starts at one, so universe four. Now universe four is gonna be universe five in that in that controller. So uh, let's close that out. I'm gonna do four zero zero one through four one zero zero. That's why I named it at full. Boom, they all turn on. Now I wanna test to make sure that they're all the same. And so I'm going to uh, do rainbow. Increase my effect to 100% and do spread. Now you can see that they're all going. Now you might be wondering, which fixture profile did I choose? Okay, I'll tell you. So let's go back here, setup, patch, uh, and then I used RGB LED. And where you find that is you go to, uh, not patch app, you go to add fixtures, you go generic, Scroll down. No, not this channel. So you get to the RGBs. 
and I chose RGB LED. This one was a mistake, I got to delete that one, but I used this one right here. And that is where I patched that, and then I hit apply, okay, and named them. I'm gonna use the universe name as the first letter, so 4001 through 4100, 5001 through 5100. So I have five universes available to program for this play, and I'm gonna have 20 trees. And I'm gonna spread out the, uh, the five different universes among the 20 trees so they all don't look the same. But right now, my biggest concern is to have dynamic RGB lights on the trees. It's not to pixel map yet. Pixel mapping will come later, but since I'm in such a crunch, this is, I, I think this is gonna be a, a great uh, look. And I just went with the bullets and I think they're gonna look fantastic on the tree.